Yeah, absolutely. Making her debut in 2017. She's worked hard to become a regular feature in the Red Rose team. It takes commitment, hard work and a huge amount of effort to get reach this milestone. Huge credit to her and her resilience to come back from those setbacks. She's a player that will continue to evolve her game and she'll be relishing this opportunity. Underway off the boot of Renee Holmes in brilliant sunshine here in Langley, British Columbia as it's brought down by Alex Matthews, player of the match. Set! Field scrum for New Zealand. Olsen Baker's going to bounce out the back here straight from number eight, powering over the top, stretching, scoring. Pure strength of power from Kaipur Olsen Baker. Crouch! Now New Zealand having to defend. This is England Five. on to attack for the first time. Set! <laughs> out an awkward channel for Hunt but does well and then Breach coming across dragged down by Litsi Yenga who's almost on that again but the support play from England was arriving in time. Sold Cross shipping it along the line for Hunt. Knock on. Knock on for New Zealand so England playing under advantage here. Here's the danger of kill done and now down on the edge gets rid of Holmes and she's so brilliantly balanced on that edge. Abby Dow, give her one chance, she'll take it. And England straight back into it. And just like that, one opportunity and England take it. That's how dangerous they can be. Yeah. Just look at this, recycle the ball. It's not actually perfect for England. They're a little bit flat, but look, they're trying to keep the ball alive. They know where the space is. They keep playing the advantage. Eddie Kildun just takes a slight step there just to hold Brunt up enough. And then one on one against Abby Dow. She's nearly impossible to be able to tackle, and in this case, just gets the big fend out. <laughs> For Bottoman in her 50th. Next cab off the rank is Abby Ward. They keep coming, England. Pressing this New Zealand line, trying to drive and pump those legs. Pick and go again, this time roll into the corner, breach with the finish. England go in front with Jess Breach in the corner. Just watch the England forwards coming around the corner, all set, ready. Working together in their threes. Natasha Hunt just taking her time. Look at this second effort from Maud Muir. Just gets them a little bit in front. Tuku Afu just thinks they're going to pick again, but there, just picks off the last defender. Nice flat ball across. Just does enough to hold up Holmes. That really quickly, you can't just rely on the nine. As soon as you know that you're going to be exiting, you should be sprinting in there, getting set. set. England again will set the scrum on the 22, a real attacking threat here again. It's starting to creep forward as Packer gives it away. Hunt rather gives it away for Aitchison. Now here's some space for Kildun. Acres of space, too much space for a player of utter quality and class. So free, so silky, Ellie Kildun. England punishing New Zealand from their own mistakes. Just really narrow hit. Big wide pass out to the 13 channel. Lovely little out overs line just on the outside of Ahakolo, which just opens up. Holmes is disconnected. We know what pace Ellie Kildun has. Great effort from Etienne to try and get across. Just short of the line. Back they come again. Who's next for England? It's Packer spinning. Almost there, just short once more. Aitchison, quick hands across the line. Breach back and field. Four kill done. That is quality and class on the edge. And Ellie kill done with the finish. I'm doing the work. So dynamic in their carries. First mule, then bottom and comes around the corner. Two, three Black Fern defenders all in. And then here, just slows up slightly. Natasha Hunt just giving a bit of patience, a bit of time, hits the wider defender, which then just tricks yes. Yes. New Zealand. Now they're like scrambling. And what about this? Marley Packer recycles the ball, knows that she's short. And here again, second opportunity that they've scored in this corner. Jess Breach knows that she's being marked, knows she's on her way out, and finds Ellie killed. 
Well, it was Litsy Inga who'd had to come in and make the desperation on Packer. That left some space wide, and Roland misses the kick wide as well, and that will take us to half time. What a half it has been between England and New Zealand, but it is the world number one, the juggernaut Red Roses, who have got a handy advantage. Holly Aitchison gets us underway in the second half. England leading 22 points to 12 as Maya Joseph brings down the restart for New Zealand. And Holmes sends it back to Kildun on halfway. Can't keep her out of the action. Ellie Kildun with a vision. Oh, England have come away again here. Heard nice. Look at those quick hands. Oh, it's lovely. And a sumptuous from England. The deft handling in the middle has Abby Dow in the corner. That is a slick finish, a slick try from the England backs. All starts here. New Zealand still organising in the backfield there. England want to get on with it. Tatiana heard right at the line. Great hands there from Jess Breach. Just holds her feet, does enough, and then finds Abby Dow with a little bit of space. And we just know how good she is at finishing. Holmes again. Kick is charged and the bounce sets out. Opportunistic but you create your own luck, and that is exactly what Natasha Hunt has done. Hit really slow ball, just accelerates through. Home just slightly second guess, but look at that. How often do you see the bounce just go straight up and then into the opposition's hands? How good on her 75th. We're rolling the dice with half an hour to play. The New Zealand coaches need to get something off their bench. Here come England. Heard has to hold it up and goes again. Ripped it across as Aitchison. And look at the space for Dow. Oh, she's away from Barcola. Ball back in field. Jess Breach is going to finish this again. England's back three are ripping New Zealand apart. Try England. But Jess Breach has come all the way from the other side of her own wing to be on the support line. Everything's in motion, everything's flowing for England right now. Just from here, from the line out, great delivery service. Out in front, here initially. Tatty on her, just reacts real quickly, goes forward. Look how quick England are playing away. Doesn't give time for New Zealand to be able to react. Ellie kill done, the simple work of the draw and pass. And then Jess Breach, working hard off her wing to be the extra number. <laughs> And it goes again, or higher for Migoli Tu'u. Referee almost in the way of the England defence, just held up short of the line. New Zealand pressing, they've got advantage, they've got numbers, and they've got a try for Georgia Ponsonby. Well, we keep seeing moments of New Zealand really injected pace into this game. On the outside appears here, all the hard work done by the forwards. Uh, Eddie Kill done, the last defender there. Also got advantage there. Could have probably gone on the outside, but decided to step back in. <laughs> England looking to threaten here again. Aitchis and Bolling. The strings plucked away. Olsen Baker. The chases are going to come. They should be able to track her down. The pipe of Olsen Baker needs some support. Looking desperately. What a tackle from Helena Rowland. Still there for New Zealand. It's all the forwards. Where's the pace? Ruth. The lungs are burning, the legs are tired. It works really hard here. Look at this, gets straight back to her feet. She's not released, so automatically they get advantage. And Maya Roos, ball in two hands. Fianati just drifts on the outside and it opens up for her. What a response from New Zealand. England with Sarah Byrne now. Looking to just regain their lead, their advantage they have is Breach. Breach. Breaches the defence again. Ruby Tui slipped off the tackle, and Jess Breach gets a hat trick. Just recognises final defender there. Recognises there's an opportunity there with a one on one against the prop. Ruby Tui comes in late. She's scrambling. Thank you. Jess Breach, good fight in the tackle to get through. Feel Allcroft goes to ground awkwardly. And out it comes now for Scarrett. Oh, kill done. Got stopped.
great read. Paul had to shoot up and make the hit, but the numbers are coming. They'll keep coming around the corner, and in they go again this time. It is Zoe Harrison for England. You could just feel it coming, couldn't you? The numbers, look at the numbers coming around the corner for England. This is a great shot from Paul. Three players, and then that leaves that blind side exposed. And Zoe Harrison with a lovely step off her right foot to step back in. Quick pick again, Amy Rule. New Zealand a metre away from the England line, trying to keep it intact once more. Henwood buries the head and goes low and hard. Quick again from New Zealand, well repelled, and again from England. It's brilliant. Goal line defence until it wasn't just at the end. It finally came for New Zealand, and it's going to be <laughs> Mama Moonia Vaipulu. The 21-year-old in just her fifth test getting a try off the bench to finish the scoring for New Zealand. Well, they came and they came. And referee eventually saw enough as England peeled themselves off the floor and Ma'ama Moonia Vaipulu. It's the final try for New Zealand, but they have been second best against this outstanding English side. Hannah King to finish us off. New Zealand get two more, but it has been England's afternoon, no doubt. Withstood the pressure moments when they needed to and opened up New Zealand time and again. Outstanding, the winning record continues on. England march on. And a high scoring, thoroughly entertaining match here in Langley played in brilliant conditions.